Hey YouTube, I'm back with yet another video and something's different about me, can you tell? <laughs> well, what's different is my hair. Guys, this is the same hair <laughs> from Rosa Hair Company via AliExpress. This is the Brazilian Body Wave. I have installed the full three bundles of hair in a 14, 16, and 18 inch. I did tell you guys that I was gonna install all three bundles, and I did, and I am loving this hair. I decided to dye it, and I told you guys the next time you see an update video, the hair color was gonna be different. I actually dyed this hair about a few days after I recorded the last update video, which was about three weeks ago. And I am just getting around to filming this video. I have been super busy, so I apologize about how long it's been. But it's been about seven and a half weeks since I've had this hair installed. I did take the hair out before I dyed it, and then I changed my braiding pattern a bit. And I installed the full three bundles. So again, I have in a 14, a 16, and an 18 inch. And guys, I'm loving the color. I was really apprehensive about dyeing my hair and lightening the hair because I was afraid. You know, you're kind of afraid of the unknown. I didn't know how the color was gonna look and I'm actually really, really loving the color. And I don't know what color it is because it's bleached. I used a um, 20 volume developer to lighten this hair. I wanted to do an ombre and go really, really light blonde. And then I kind of chickened out and it was like, oh no, because if it doesn't look good on me, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have to dye the hair a different color and hopefully it will take. And I really didn't want to over process the hair. So, I put the developer on the hair. I actually mixed it, mixed the bleach, the powder bleach, and the developer together. And again, I used a 20 volume developer. I know a lot of people say they use 30 or 40, but the 20 volume developer was really all I needed to lighten the hair. So, I put it on the hair and I did the ombre process, but then I kind of chickened out and Actually, it turned out better because the hair actually has three different tones to it. There's some chocolate brown, there's some lighter brown, and then there's some lighter brown pieces. So I actually love the way it came out. It's the first time I ever have bleached hair on my own. So. I was really scared and nervous, but I'm glad that I did it. So enough about that and let's talk about the hair. Let's get really down to the real tea, all right? So let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're gonna get real. Let's get the pros and the cons out of the way so you guys can make your informed decision on whether to purchase this hair or not. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the bad things. I like to talk about the bad things and then we can talk about the positives later. But let's talk about the cons, all right? So first and foremost, when I received the hair, as you guys have seen in the initial video, the hair was very, very wavy. This hair has lost all of its wave, except for the ends of it. And I'm really bummed out about that because I'm guessing the hair was steam processed. The hair does not look like it looked out of the package anymore at all at all it doesn't even the top doesn't even wave at all so it's not wavy here i'm pretty sure it was steam processed um because this hair is not wavy at all anymore this hair also sheds like a mug it's been shedding non-stop i've tried to deep condition the hair it still sheds like crazy when I first installed it didn't shut at all then one to two strands which is pretty normal 
then it started becoming ridiculously excessive. It has slowed down a bit now that I deep condition once a week, but normally you're supposed to deep condition every other week and I'm having to deep condition like crazy in order for this hair to stop shedding as much. And it was shedding just as much before I colored it, if that makes sense. So it sheds a lot. Does this hair tangle? No, it does not tangle, but it does have its little gnats at the back in the nape it'd be like uh 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 you get like a few snags but um that's it for the cons so the pros this hair i can actually still run my fingers through it after you brush this hair it's fabulous you definitely have to take care of it you have to treat it like it's your own hair wrap it or tie it down every night if you can um, to avoid it from matting or tangling or anything like that. Um, this hair is extremely soft. It holds curls wonderfully. I actually curled this hair earlier this morning and it's about 7 o'clock and this hair is still going strong. So I absolutely love it. The color processing was very, very easy. So the processing was great. I do not have any problems with this hair besides those three cons that I mentioned to you guys. The ends of this hair actually look very, very nice. I do deep condition once a week, so because I deep condition very often, there's it's less likely for you to see anything wrong with the hair um, as far as the ends are concerned. But everything other than that is going pretty okie dokie with this hair. I will be installing another brand of hair very, very soon, but before I do so, I'm probably going to do a final review and I'll weigh all the pros and cons from beginning to end and you guys will see how that works out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video. Subscribe because it's free to do so. Leave me some comments. Let me know if you want to see some more hair reviews, beauty reviews, if you guys want to see how I achieved the makeup look that I'm rocking right now. Then go ahead and leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. So again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Till next time. Bye.